In this question, we will convert from one form to other, that is from radical to exponential form. Yeah, the exponents can be written as fractions or we need to rewrite to radical or from radical to exponents. Now here we have a to the power one, five, 1 by 5, that is 1 fifth, which is the correct one. If you look carefully, 1 by anything means it's square root of that number. If I add 8 power 1 thirds, it's the cube root of 8. But here, what do I have? I have 1 fifth. That's the question, right? So 5 and radical 8. That's it. Now, one more way to understand is using the calculator. You can start solving the given question. It's 8 1 fifth. What is the value of that? That is 1.5157. So start solving all these options. It's the cube root of 16. That is 2.51. No, it's not the same. It's uh, to the EQ radical 5 root of 5. And over here we have 8. Is Yes, it's 1.5157. But as all the others, you will never get the same answer. They must be different because there's only one single correct answer. This is different. And similarly, you can try power 5 here and 1 8. It will give some other value. It has to give some other value. Here we go. Only one correct answer. That's option B. What about this one? Here you can see there is a, a cube root. Now phi, how do we write it? 1 by 3, x, 1 by 3. But we have y power 2 already instead of power 1. This is 5 power 1. So we write 1 by 3. But y is already power 2. So we divide it by 3. That's 2 by thirds. Now you can assume x values and y values. You can assume at x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Put the values here in the calculator and, and solve all, the, all of them. But this is such a silly problem, so you don't need to do that. See here, which is this is the correct answer, option A, because this is wrong. It's not five to the power three, not one twenty-five. This is correct. No, here y is wrong because y already has a power two, so only option A is correct. That is the correct answer. Similarly, we'll solve these x four thirds. Now, what's happening? How do we write it? X whatever is up will be the power. But the root will be, radical will be having whatever is down. So that's the answer. And what about this one here? x power 2 divided by 5 would be the correct form. Those are the answers here. This is it. And here as well. Similarly, what about these? Here we have 8 radical 5 outside. And over here we have 4 squared and 7 outside. This is the forms. This is the radical form. You can directly write the answers and it's the options. You just have to choose the correct answer. Even if it was writing, you can just directly write the answer. Now here what they have done is 4 power 2 is 16. So they have split it out. They have used the power. Here as well, we don't have number here. We have a variable x. So what happens exactly? See, these two powers, they are multiplied because it's power to the power. So it becomes 3 times 3 is 9. And it's square root. You can write it like this or you can leave it like this. That's fine. It's square root. And what about this? It'll be 7 power half. If it's radical, you have to convert to exponent, exponent to radical. So those are the answers. And here we go. It's 17 power half. And here as well, whenever we have radical power 3, it's 5, 1 third, x, 1 third. And y already square is there divided by 3. And what about this? It's 625 to the power 1 fourth and then x 2 by 4. You can simplify this. x becomes half. That's square root. And what about this one here? It's 5, you know, but I think so. Let, let's see how is the answer written. Mm, it is written as 5, yes. So you, if you simplify, you can just put in the calculator. It becomes 5 but because 5 to the power 4 is 625. So the answer is 5 x power half. These are the correct answers. And that is the end of all the electronic part questions. I hope you have found these videos helpful. And if you can do a huge favor to me, that is by sharing these videos with your friends who also can benefit from it. All the advanced grade videos, EOTs and lesson explanations are available. Please do share it for those who can benefit. And also, if you could subscribe to my channel or like these videos, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I wish you all the best for the exam.